What's up, YouTube? Seven String Syndicate. Uh, back like two weeks later or whatever for Lorna Shore, The Pain Remains 2, Electric Boogaloo. Um, I don't know. I guess people are calling me a hater now, <laughs> Lorna Shore, because I didn't like Pain Remains 1 all that much. I don't know. It's just not my cup of tea. Anyway, we'll see what this has to offer. It is like super creative. It's a cool like little musical path they're going down. So anyway, Pain Remains 2. I'm reading this is about like really sensitive material, so I'm gonna try to take it like super seriously. The riff is a little simplistic for me. They could add a lot to it. Good. Good. That's the kind of addition I wanted to see. Nick Nocturnal uh, described these riffs as like metalcore sped up times a million. I love it. It's very accurate. Like the shapes and the techniques, the palm muting and stuff. More like traditional Lorna, right? Tasty drum fill. I got nothing but respect for the drummer, dude. He's a beast. I like how it seems like from two compared to one, they dialed back the uh, swelling violins and fake synths and stuff. It, it fits a little bit better in this piece. Not a big fan of this riff. Songwriting structure is very straightforward, like whatever, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, with not much variation. Different lead, very simplistic. It is cool how they like meld melody with like the traditional deathcore Lorna style. You know, I haven't really heard that from the band until this like double release. All right, snow. Wasn't it? Wasn't it rain last time? Is now we're rain to snow. Is there some like metaphor there? I thought that was her foot for a second. <laughs> I'll shut up. Looks like the Angel Vivaldi music video. Shout out Angel Vivaldi. I was hoping he'd unleash something here towards the end. Great solo. Solo in part one was really good too. Just the thing, the soloing is so different from what he usually does. Like he's a great guitarist. 
He's about to off himself, isn't he? He's a great guitarist, but before, I, I feel like their past couple albums has just been like technicality and noodling for the sake of noodling. Part one and now part two, the solo is so much more well fleshed out. Like there's real emotion and care behind it. So he out. Out. I don't know. Comes off a little cringe to me, to be honest. I think it's a very blatant shock factor, you know, like they could have covered this lyrically without like going there. It, it It's a, I mean, it's a cool concept. Like it's something that needs to, you know, attention brought to it, but I don't know. It just hits me a certain way. Anyway, Pain Remains 2, Electric Boogaloo. Um, I, I favored part one. I think the riffs in one were, they hit hella harder. Um, the solo in this was really like above and beyond the, the selling point. I give it a six. It's a six out of 10 for me. Um, I'm still, I'll listen to the new release, whatever it is, album EP. I think it might be out. I don't know. We'll check it out. Anyway, uh, <laughs> sorry, this wasn't one of my favorite Lorna tracks. I really am a fan of their older stuff, but mad respect to them and have a good day. I'll see you guys.